For Nora Bure, seeing images of the recent gas attack in Syria is devastating. It's barbaric. We live in the in 2017. I can't believe that we are watching this genocide happen live in front of our eyes. The majority of her family fled Syria and currently lives in Turkey, but she still has relatives in the country and worries about them. There's no safe places in Syria because Assad's air force can bomb anywhere in Syria, so essentially no one is safe. Bure recently returned from a trip to Jordan where she worked with two organizations that provide educational resources and humanitarian aid to Syrian refugees. There's a huge need for help. She says for several years she hoped the U.S. would somehow get involved in the Syrian conflict but lost that hope during the previous presidential administration. The Obama administration has been complacent. They've been um, just twiddling their thumbs as people have been dying for the past six years. But as she watched U.S. missiles light up the night sky during Thursday's airstrike, Bure felt some relief. I was sad, you know, because you don't want to see a country get hit, but I was very happy because it shows Assad that you your war crimes won't go unpunished. And it just brings the U.S. back to the world stage, where I think we've kind of dimmed out in the past six years. And now President Trump called last night's airstrikes vital to the national security interest of the United States. Barre hopes the U.S. will pressure the international community to remove Assad and create safe zones in Syria so refugees can return home. Live in the studio, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.